Hello everyone, John Rum here. Hi guys, I'm Ian Poulter. Hey guys, this is Bryson DeChambeau. One of my favorite fan, fan moments from tour is, um, I guess, when a fan became a friend. Um, 2004, I think it was, I was playing the Memorial, I was walking from green to tea and I heard this guy say, keep trucking, Rosie, keep trucking. And it kind of stuck in my ears. And uh, the next year I came back to the Memorial, 2005, I heard it again. So, you know, we got chatting eventually, you know, 2006, I leave him some tickets and we've just became friends. And, you know, he's, 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 he's come to watch me play many, many times. And we now kind of catch up socially as well. So. Like I said, uh, I've made many friends on tour through the years, and that's an example of one of them. My favorite uh, fan moment, you know, of my career was spending time with Amy there in Phoenix uh, two years ago, and it's, it was a moment that has impacted my lives, but it also had an impact on millions of people around the world. And I get to call Amy a, a fan and a friend uh, for the rest of my life, and that's pretty special. You know, one fan in, in interaction that I've had, which I think is quite a cool, fun one, um, was going back to. Uh, Dream Flight Charity, which I support, and I met a young lad on the plane who was a golf fan. He was a fan of me, he was nine years old, and really I was there as a sounding board to listen and to, you know, have some fun chats with him about the game of golf and where he plays, how he plays, what he plays off. You know, if I fast forward kind of 11 years to where he is today, that young lad who was very poorly at the time has come through all those troubles super strong. Now he's a PGA professional uh, at his home club. So for me to have that fan interaction uh, first and foremost, and for that to kind of, you know, blend on into his career as a golfer to see him become a PGA professional is truly inspiring for me. Fortunately for me, I've had, uh, I've had a, a good amount of, of great wins, but uh, I would say probably Players' Championship 2019, uh, when uh, Ricardo proposed to Emma on, on the 17th green, and I was, uh, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to be a part of that. Uh, that, was, that was a very, very cool moment, and uh, it's something that made me feel uh, extremely proud and that I was, I, was, you know, I was a part of that. This past year, one and one, and there was this kid who had Down syndrome, who was as genuinely happy for me as anybody would ever be. It, it was great to see, you know, I was impacting somebody's happiness the way I was impacted by other athletes, you know, by people that are still on tour, by watching Tiger and Phil, and even closer to my age, but even watching, you know, people like, like Rory and Ricky on TV when I was still in college, it was, uh, it's quite unique, so it was, it was great to share that with him. I think my favorite fan interaction moments are, are, are the, the simple ones, the little gestures of walking off of a green and finding a kid to give your golf ball to. Uh, I, I cannot tell you that the joy that it brings to my heart watching a kid's face light up as he runs off to show his mom or her dad the golf ball he just got. I think uh, the ability to make a kid's day ends up making my day. It's my favorite being able to give something away that I used that day. Um, it really makes them excited and, and, and thrilled about being there and being a part of uh, the PGA Tour scene. Everything that you guys do in terms of bringing us energy, bringing us good vibes, cheering us on, uh, hearing the roars, high fives between holes. Uh, myself and all of us players, we miss all of that and can't wait to get back to doing it again. You know, we take for granted, you know, seeing the same guys every week and competing you know, and trying to beat each other, but uh, you, you miss that when you don't have it. You know, I've, from a little boy, always wanted to, to be a pro, to be a sportsman, to be a football player, to then be a golfer. And it's the buzz and excitement you get of competing to try and win. It's that, that, it's that level of testing yourself. And it's just really what we practice for day in, day out. Just the everyday grind, you know, it, it's something that we all love it's, it's it's why we play it's it's what we've grown up wanting to do and it's something that i miss dearly i miss the energy um of you guys that are out on tour and also the color and uh, the distraction almost you know there's a lot going on out on the golf course when you guys are all there when there's hundreds you know thousands and thousands of people and you know you guys really force us to focus harder and to to really tunnel in and to bring the best of ourselves so that's what I miss. It's really exciting to compete and entertain you as much as possible. You know, it's always great to see the reactions when we're playing good and support 
And it's even greater when, you know, things are not going well and we hear the support and the cheers coming towards us. When you get out there, there's such a great buzz, so much energy out there, and it's due to the fans. The atmosphere you guys bring every week is amazing. Um, it gets us excited to get there, especially on those early morning tea times. Um, you guys are there, ready to rock and roll. It's special, uh, and we have the best fans in the world. We miss you all, and uh, I hope everybody stays with a positive mindset and gets this thing over with as soon as possible. Just wish you all well. I hope that you're all staying safe and staying at home, and this will pass.